What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to start to build Blackjack for PyQt5 and Python. I guess like I said in this video, we're going to start to build Blackjack. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to build out Blackjack. So you see, we've got two cards here. We could say hit me and do all the things. So, you know, we're probably only going to get this far in this video. We'll work on the dealer stuff in the next video. But we're going to build on the last couple of videos that we've been doing where we built out a deck of cards. And we're going to take that code and modify it a little bit to make Blackjack. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below. It goes link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. OK, so I've got some code here. This is our deck code that we worked on a couple of videos ago. Same exact code. I've just changed the name to blackjack.py and set the title to blackjack. And I set the UI file to blackjack.ui. So we're gonna have to create that file. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and let's open up the designer. And we want to open up a file here. So let's navigate to our PyQt5 directory and let's find our deck.ui file from a couple of videos ago. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that. You're gonna need all this code and stuff for that. So I'm gonna come up here right away and save this as blackjack.ui. OK, so we need to modify this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on here and change the height and width. So let me change this to 900 by like 650. This needs to be much bigger. And then I'm going to come up here to this dealer and change the size of this label real quick to a 12. And same thing here, change this to a 12. And let's make this guy bigger that. Okay, so let's copy this. I'm going to hit the control button and click this. So both of these are highlighted. And then I'm just going to arrow these over and sort of bring it over here. That looks good. And I'm going to move these buttons out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's move this guy over. Okay and then move this guy down here. OK, so we've got this shuffle start over. We've got this guy that says deal cars. I'm going to change this to hit me. There we go. And up here it says D push button. I'm going to change this to hit me button. And we need another one. So I'm just going to hit control C and then control V to paste another one of these buttons here. And this one will be stand. And up here, I'm going to call this the stand button. OK, so now we've got two cards, but we're going to need a lot more cards. And there's lots of different versions of Blackjack. I'm going to create this to where the most we can have is five cards, because in some Blackjack games, if you get five cards without busting, you automatically win. So we're just going to do that for this one as well, make it a little bit easier anyway. So first, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to change the name of this from dealer label to dealer card. I'm going to do the same thing down here from player label to player card. And I'm gonna call this player card one. And actually, I should come up here and change this to dealer card one, because we're gonna have a lot of these. So I'm just going to hit Control C or yeah, I suppose you can right click and do copy. And then I'm gonna hit Control V or right click and paste. And I'm just gonna paste a bunch of these guys. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, we've got five cards now, right? So oh, let's kind of move these out of the way a little bit. And let's go one, two. That looks good. I'm just going to kind of sort of position these one, two. That looks good. Boom, boom. And let's move this guy out of the way. Boom, boom. OK, so I'm going to do the same thing down here, two, three. Four and five. Okay, so then we want to come through here and change the names of all of these. So this will be dealer card two. This will be dealer card three. This one will be dealer card 
four, and this last one will be dealer card five. Ah, where'd it go? There we go. And same thing down here. I'm just gonna come to through here and change the names of these real quick. So two, and three, and then four, and finally, five. Okay, so let's come up here, form preview, just to see how this looks generally. That looks okay. Okay, so now remember, we're gonna change these cards to blank spaces later, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now these buttons are a little bit out of whack, so let's sort of let's pop these over something like that. I don't know. Just preview this guy again. Yeah, good enough. Might want to space these out further, or whatever you want. You can play around with that. So, okay, that looks good. Good enough, I suppose. So let's go ahead and close this. We've already saved this as blackjack.ui, but I'm gonna come up here and save it again. Okay, so let's head back over to our code and start to, start to play around with this. Now, here's the code from that from our deck video a couple of videos ago. We need to make some changes here. So dealer label, this is gonna be dealer card one. And this is gonna be player card one. But we've got, and let's change this to dealer card one. So we've got a bunch of these. So let me just copy this two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna come through here and change these. Oops, three, four, and five. Same thing right here. Go to three, four, and five. Now, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for this guy but this should be player card one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And again, just come through here and change these real quick to two, three, four, and five. And this one to two, three, four, and five. Okay, these labels can stay the same. We've got another push button though. Oh, we did change these buff these buttons. So, I think that one stayed the same, but the deal button became a hit me button. So let me change this to hit me button and let's head back over to our, this guy, click on this thing. Yeah, we called this hit me button. So let's copy that. And there we go. And we also have a stand button. So let me just copy this and paste it in. And this is the stand button. And I think we called this the stand button, but let's go back here and make sure, click on this. Yeah, stand button right there. So, okay, that looks good. Besides that, everything else pretty much stays the same. So this deal button, we changed the name of that to hit me button. Okay, so in our deck video, we just had two cards, the dealer card and the player card. In this video for blackjack, each player has up to five cards. So we need to keep track of how many cards have been dealt already. So I'm gonna create a variable called self.playerspot, set that equal to zero, and self.dealerspot, set that equal to zero. Why spot? I don't know, what position, what spot are we dealing with right now? I don't know, it's probably a bad name, change it to something else if you want. So, okay, so now, remember, we start out by shuffling this, and, we grab a card from our deck. I'm not gonna talk about how we created the deck. You can go back and watch that deck video if you want. And we're picking a card and then we're putting up on the screen like this. Now this is no longer dealer label. This is now dealer card one. Same thing down here. This is no longer player label. It is player card one. But we kind of want to change all this around, right? Actually, we kind of want to use the stuff in our deal cards function. So let's change this to dealer card one. Let's change this one to player card one. And then what I wanna do is create two new functions, one for hitting the dealer, one for hitting the player. When you want a new card, you say hit me, right? So let's create a hit me function for the player and the dealer. So let's come down here and let's define dealer hit and we pass in self and we wanna pass for now. And let's also define player hit, pass in self, and let's pass for now. And come back up here to our button. When we first click that hit me button, let's see right here, 
Oh, this should be hit me button. There we go. Instead of calling the deal cards function, now we want to do player hit instead. Okay, so what do we want in our player hit function? Well, basically, we want the stuff from, well, basically, we want the stuff from our deal cards function. So I'm just going to copy all of this, bring it down here and paste it in. So we want to grab a card, we want to remove that card from the deck, we want to add it to actually, this is the player hit so we can get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so we're grabbing a card, removing it from the deck, adding it to our player's hand, right, and then putting that card here. Well, we have more than one card here, so we need to do some logic. So first, let's come up here and let's create another if statement. Let's say if player spot is less than five, we want to do all of this stuff. We'll tab that in. And here when we're adding the picture of the card to this player card one, we need to determine what spot we're in. So let's go if, and actually this should be if self dot player spot. And let's say if self dot player spot equals zero, that's the zeroth position, right? Then self dot player card will set that to this image, right? Then we need to increment our counter. So self dot player spot plus equals one. L if self dot player spot equals one, then let's copy this stuff. Then player card will be two, All right? And now we need to do this three more times because we have five cards, two, three, four, five, whatever. <laughs> so, okay, so zero, one, if the player spot is two, then the card will be three. If the player spot is three, the card will be four. If the player spot is four, then the card will be five. Then we add one to player spot. So the player spot goes from four to five. Well, five is no longer less than five. So this whole thing would stop. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now we can just copy all of this and kind of do the same thing for our dealer stuff. We just need to come through here and change from player spot to dealer spot. So let's copy that. I'm just going to come through here and update all of these player spot, dealer spot, player spot, dealer spot, player spot, dealer spot, player spot, dealer spot. Okay. And then this player card should be dealer card, obviously. So we change that. Let me just go through here and make that quick change. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. And we also need to change here to from player to dealer because we're appending now to the dealer's hand. Okay. So that looks good. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. See how badly we messed that up because we did a lot of copying and pasting. Let's go Python blackjack.py. Okay, and you'll notice we're only getting the first card. The rest of these aren't done. So if we do this, yeah, it's kind of all messed up here. So we also need to tinker with our shuffle section when the game first starts because let's see here. Yeah, we don't actually want to do any of this stuff anymore. Right? Instead, we want to call dealer hit twice. So self dot dealer hit. And we also want to do self dot player hit twice. Okay. So basically what we're doing is just calling these functions we just created when the game first starts. So, all right, see how that looks. So we got a four and eight and an eight and a seven and then a bunch of twos. So we need to change those twos. If I hit hit me, this card changes. I hit it again, this card changes. Hit it again, this card changes. It's 45 cards left in the deck. I try and do it again. Nothing happens because we've already done five. But we need to get rid of these image, these pictures as well. 
when the game starts. So when we shuffle and start over, you can see none of these are changing. So we need to fix that real quick. So let's head over to our shuffle section. And right here at the top, let's reset card images. And I'm going to create a new pix map. And I'm going to set that equal to a Q pix map, as we've done before. And then I want this to be images slash cards slash green dot PNG. And I just created a little green box that looks like an empty card and uh, saved it in our images slash cards directory. This is where the rest of our cards are saved as well. So now we have that. We can just come up here and grab all of our cards and paste them in. And then I'm just going to sort of get rid of all of this very quickly. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And I'm going to change this to dot set pix map. And then we want to pass in that pix map, right? So now we can just copy this and boom, paste, 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 and paste. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. Okay, so this is that green image. It's just a, you know, kind of a square with a lighter green, with a darker green border, right? So if I do hit me, boom, that changes, boom, that changes, and boom, that changes. Okay, when I hit shuffle and restart, the whole thing starts over again. Looking pretty good. So we don't have anything with the stand button yet. We'll work, we'll work on that in the next video. But yeah, we've got some pretty good functionality here. We can start over. We can do hit me. Now there's absolutely no logic going on here, right? Obviously I busted way before I got to the end of this, right? So right here and also right here, this is blackjack. I should win right now, but we haven't built that in yet either. So we'll get into all that later. In this video, I just wanted to sort of get the basic layout going, get the basic card shuffling going. And we've got that. That looks pretty good. And now we're coming right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.